Many of you recognize Jennifer Tilly as a scream queen, but did you know that long before Jennifer Tilly was a scream queen, her little sister Meg was a scream queen herself? Join me on this episode of Horror Boost when we talk about Jennifer Tilly and Meg Tilly, scream queen sisters. Now let's get started. Meg Tilly was born on February 14, 1960, and in 1983 she got her first major role in a big horror film called Psycho 2, the highly anticipated sequel to Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. She would play the role of Mary alongside Anthony Perkins as a co-worker who works with him at his diner, and he later invites home to stay with her at his mother's house. And unbeknownst to him, she is not who she claims to be. She gave a great performance as Mary, showcasing a wide range of emotions. Meg Tilly's voice was also quite unique. He isn't like that anymore. Maybe if you knew him now, and it hardly seems fair for us to be doing what we're doing to him. She had a soft and almost rhythmic way of speaking. Just remember the good things she did for you. It sounded very honest and trustworthy, which made her perfect for the role of Mary in Psycho 2. And it's her relationship with Norman Bates that makes this film my favorite movie in the Psycho series. And while not an immediate success, Psycho 2 has gained a cult following, and it also happens to be my favorite horror movie. In 1985, Meg Tilly starred in Agnes of God, which would earn her an Oscar nomination and other notable hits like The Big Chill and Masquerade. And then in 1993, she started another major horror film called Body Snatchers. In this role, she played a mother possessed by an alien life force who terrifies her family with her disturbing behavior. And Meg Tilly's performance made this one of the most iconic movie trailers of the 90s. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to run? No one like you left. Fast forward to 2016 when Meg Tilly starred in another horror movie called Anti Birth. In this film, she helped Natasha Leone through her bizarre fever dream pregnancy. Anti Birth was an indie success that made us happy to see Meg Tilly return to horror movies. Now let's rewind to 1998 when her sister Jennifer got her first big role in a horror movie called Bride of Chucky. Jennifer Tilly, who was born on September 16, 1958, had already made a name for herself by 1998. She was nominated for an Oscar in Woody Allen's Bullets Over Broadway in 1994. In 1996, Jennifer starred in the erotic thriller Bound, a movie that I highly recommend watching if you haven't seen it. And then in 1998, she agreed to play Tiffany Valentine in Bride of Chucky. This would earn Jennifer Tilly a new home in the world of horror. Much like Meg Tilly, Jennifer Tilly also had quite a unique voice. Her signature slow, hypnotic way of talking made her quite endearing to play Chucky's bride. All right, Fulvia, if that's what you want, we'll miss you. Not to mention an evil laugh. (laughs) As Tiffany, she would inspire sleek goth wardrobe fashion that you can find at malls today. Not to mention her very own Tiffany merchandise. I hope us horror fans will one day get to see Meg and Jennifer Tilly star in a movie together, preferably a horror movie. They have each left a mark on the horror genre in their own right, and it would be truly great to see them make more horror movies. This concludes our episode of Horror Boost. Have a great day. Cherry Snow Cone. Uh, Yummy.